Hi, SR Squad. Not Musa Kaula's follower called Block Boy coming for Musa and not Abaloi. Ladies and gentlemen, please take note that this is just part one of the story. After listening to this one, do listen to part two where the follower called Block Boy dragging not Abaloi where Notabaloi was so emotional and we could all hear that he was crying. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Uh, that I've joined. So we'll start with... Oh, I can't... We'll start with blog boy is Hi, sir or, or ma'am. Welcome to the space. Musa, how are you doing? Amal, thanks. How are you doing? Uh, I'm all right, Musa. Um, uh, look, I can't stay for too long, but, you know, I'm guessing this is really something that's come across a lot of people's minds. We've watched you grow your account from a 1,000 followers to 80,000, then getting hacked and rebuilding it, which is something very commendable. One thing I'm looking back and I'm reflecting on, Musa, is last week you tweeted about opening up the industry where you mentioned Phil and Pilar's dress. Now, whether you like it or not, it's whatever. I don't think journalists or bloggers should be held to the same standards as the guests or those who are coming to receive awards. Every event, media dresses differently from other people. One of the things about that tweet that you put out, you said the industry should be opened up. My question to you is, Musa, how do you expect the industry to open up for someone like you who continuously burns their own bridges? Now, I know there's this thing about independent media where they come in and they say, okay, you know what, we're independent. We don't need the mainstream. We don't need legacy media. But I really, I'm going to be honest, Musa, as someone in the industry, whether you are lgbtq whether you are straight whether you're old whether you're gen z gen x whatever in the industry in the entertainment industry you are always going to need connections you are always going to need relationships my question to you as someone who's usually and you see me i interact with your posts but in this industry where you burn bridges for example calling someone bonang light or going at full or even with Connie Ferguson, Connie Ferguson, who is still in mourning, going at these people who have entrenched their legacy and in their name in the industry, how do you expect to be part of an industry when you can't get inside it because you've burnt all of your bridges? Do you not think that perhaps you could go back to that same trajectory that you had before your page got hacked, before all the little side comments and everything? Because yes, it does add engagement value but when it comes to monetizing that what you the platform that you've built now is not going to suffice because everyone's just going to look at it and be like oh musa kaula a liability we cannot work with him because he says things without throwing allegedly or anything else in there that's a huge liability to anybody who would say musa come partnership with us or do anything because that what you do would reflect on them and it's really worrying because now it seems like You've realized the niche market of people that will engage with you only engage when you get petty, when you get tacky. But when you post something that's normal, there's zero engagement. How sustainable do you think that is? All right. Number one, in this house, we don't know what zero engagement is. That never happens. But uh, to answer your question, well, I said what I said, and I am not looking to succumb to the big media you're talking about, all those captured people, I am not looking for that. The brand I am building is very specific and uh, it is a shame that it, it is looked on the eyes of, uh, well, I would take you through my, my favorite people, people that I look up to. And unfortunately, it is not Phil. I'm still saying he dressed like it was 95 and we can go back as 1982 because nobody should be wearing that, whether you are media, whether you are not. And 
I stick by that. But when it comes to getting in the industry and whatnot, I am the damn industry and I am not looking for a handout. Mm. I am going to, to put in my work. My work will speak for itself. If you look at people like, uh, I'll call, we will look at Wendy Williams, we'll look at your Paris Hiltons, you look at your TMZs, those are the people I look up to. And that standard of the whole thing that you need to succumb and be nice because you need your bread. I don't need bread. I know how to make my money. For, for God's sake, I have a profession. I am doing this because it is necessary and, and I love it whether it is being petty, whether I, it is what not, do not, do not disturb me. I give you a chance to speak. So I would like to finish as well. And that's exactly where we are. But what Phil did, Phil had a great platform. Yes, he did. I followed him for a very long time, but he also, I feel like the lines got blurred when he also wanted to be, friends of the people in the industry but if you're in the business of talking about people of which that's the business i'm in these things that will be said that you will like that you will not and i am not looking to make i, I have friends sir. i have a full life outside that count i know who my friends are i know the people that reach out to me and uh i will talk about i'll talk about nota nota is one of the people i speak to and as yep. controversial as he is, I, I know that he sees my vision. My vision is definitely not to, if you don't want to get aligned with me, go to City Press. City Press is closing down. That whole newspaper is trash. All that big media you're talking about, they are all moving online. And the newspapers are not selling because the damn journalists want to suck them and want to be friends with everybody and kiss everybody as. And in this house, it is not going to happen. We are going to get petty. We are going to talk. We are going to laugh. We are going to get dragged. That's fine with me. That is, to me, that is entertainment because, as I always say, my page is not ran on anything. It's never personal. Even with Bonang Light and all of them, for me, I am purely entertaining myself. I am trashing myself. I, I just want to give my people my f my followers actually not me talking about fans like i'm some big ass celebrity i'm so sorry guys <laughs> my followers those are my people and that's the people i care about as long as there's two people who are laughing and saying that we are for loves so so yeah and we need to get to the fashion but yeah i'll give you you can say what you yeah. need to say yeah i just want to say Musa, again look i'm not against you i think like in the industry you really could make you really could but you really could make strides however it's your willingness to go through with things that have not been verified actually you know i'm i'm actually you know especially with one of the things i'll mention like one of the casper things if one of the things i'm hearing that's like very correct is they're waiting for you to keep saying it up to a point where you're going to become the next tasha k you can want to entertain people as much as you want and be petty, but understand that also does come with a liability. There are people out there whose money comes from their image. And when you say something that can affect them, it's going to come to you eventually. Whether legacy media is still printing newspapers or not, once legacy media decides they're going to move online and find a Musa Kaula in which is one that won't be a liability, that leaves you nowhere. You should never, ever listen to Nota. That is the last number oak. That guy is doing nothing with his life. He claims to have put on all of these people, made all of these people famous, but his wife there hasn't had a single popping hit in for however long. Do not listen to people that will mislead you. There are people who are cult figure leaders who, who have made people kill themselves in the past. Nota is one of those people who will lead you off of a cliff. Coming from someone, again, I say this, coming from someone in the industry, you attract more bees with honey than you do vinegar. There's no, you don't have to kiss ass. You really don't. I don't kiss ass in any of the things I do. I'm objective in the things that I do. I still get invited to all of these events. I pick and choose which ones I want to go to. I still even get paid. 
It's small money. It's 2000 It's 3000 Sometimes they pay me. I don't even do write-ups about any other thing, but I will still get invites. You don't have to be mean. You don't have to come through with baseless allegations before, before in order for you to build a cult. Because once again, when you're standing in front of the judge and they ask you, did you say this? Did you say this? All of these people that engage with you, or nota, all of them, they're not going to be there when the judge says... Oh, they will be. They, they're going damages. to crowdfund me. They're going to crowdfund me for a damn good lawyer. <laughs> they are. And, uh, well, now we're in a business of gossip. If you gossip with your friends and when you hear a story, I'm going to ask you a very specific question. When you gossip with your friends, because what I am running, this is a gossip blog. So go when you hear something and your friend tells you about let's say maybe their boyfriend or whatever, and it is gossip. So what does that mean? Do you go and verify and do all these things? I must jump through yes. all these hoops yes. for yes. what? Yes, I mean, I, yes. yes. Oh, but th that is to nice for you. Yourself, I am in the business your brand, of You need to verify. Because I am in the business of me that my child is when? not my child based on gossip, at the end of the day, so, I will have gossip. you in front of a judge so fast Maybe it's because then other people are waiting point. because they're trying to build up a very solid case. But I would have you in front of a judge so fast. Whether it's gossip or not, you still need to verify because your friend could be selling you down the river. You speak about this legacy media. What if somebody from legacy media pays one of your friends to sell you a poison pill story? You without verifying it. You come onto your platform of 200,000 plus followers and you regurgitate that information, that poison pill, and that lands you in hot trouble. There's already a lot of people baying for your blood. Let's just be honest. So even all the information that you get, you are not sure now because everybody has their own agenda. You are not sure. And I know it seems nice because you're riding now, you're riding a wave. You at least pull, I can only imagine what your impressions look like. They must be through the roof and that must be a great feeling. But don't I've let never that even check my in impressions. The this is the turning into a lecture and I am just going to tell you that I do not need it. I know exactly what I'm doing. You can join right. in the queue. <laughs> Of everybody who's waiting for my ass to fail, that shit is God's not going to happen. waiting for you to fail. If you, if you heard am, me from the onset, if you heard me from the I am onset, not looking I said, for, I'm, I'm not a fan looking for lectures. I am not looking for lectures. Go join them. All right, I think, well, all I'm saying yeah. to you is good luck because one day it's going to come back and bite you. And none of these followers, Notes is going to be hiding there. He's not going to get his wife to crowdfund you. She doesn't have money. The parents aren't going to crowdfund you. Us as people are crying every day about the cost of living. We cannot crowdfund somebody who digs their own grave. But oh, anyway, no. Musa, Wait, continue watch. with your space. Continue with your space. Just talk about Thank the you, fashion. Darling. But yeah. Thank enjoy. you, darling. And I said what I said. Fuck Phil. So fuck did I. And, light. And, and yeah, so good luck to you. And but don't say fuck the judge. Because when, when the judge has you, you won't be saying fuck the judge. You won't be saying fuck Well, they people. don't have me you'll now. Be, they don't have me saying, now. I'm sorry. So fuck the damn judge. They don't have me now. So, they don't so have yeah. you now, but this literally could just be played back. Literally, Young Thug said one of his songs, Fuck the Judge, and they played that. No matter how long ago it was back then, they played it now. And these these spaces are recorded. So you can say Fuck the Judge, mine. and whoever's oh my representing God. is going to say, yeah, you said Fuck me. So dialogue. you're not going to have any favor. But Musa, this is just coming from somebody who's watched your growth and who was really impressed by your growth. But the turn that you've taken now is very, it's very dark because it's borderline bullying. And I'll be very honest with that because you pick and choose certain people in which you want to be vile with. And that is a reality. There's people that you are very nice to when you interact with them or post about them. Like, for example, Pretty Ugly. Pretty Ugly do nothing to nobody. Yet you constantly shade somebody who has no issues with anybody. And His that's music you, is not you selling. You All I'm talking is... Uh, what does it have? Right. What does it have to do with what her type of person pretty is? Well, what he's not selling. It's not the selling the damn is. music. He is in the public eye. He is not. Why is it wrong when I say it? But you know he's not selling. When the hell did he but have any number one anything? Pretty ugly. He is does. his own person. He's his own I person. Pretty ugly. Yo, 
Yeah, okay, dog. Then fuck everyone. I'm a, but I'm no a move one's to, gonna I'm work for you, you darling. You're literally going to be this person who's relegated to holding spaces. No one's gonna put you on their platform. No one's gonna. I don't wanna get put in a damn platform. I'm opening you're my own platform, sir. You're gonna sir. stay where you are. I am not. Be comfortable on care. Twitter because this is gonna be I as good care. as it gets for you. I and do not let's care. Let's not even front. How many people, if you, if you, if the industry could, if you could look at the industry as a hundred percent, you've literally burnt 98% of those bridges in the industry. So stop coming here and saying, open up the damn industry to real talent when you are not going to get in the industry because you claim you don't care about it yet all of a sudden that, it's open it up and then you don't you don't respect the people inside it or forget the people the institution itself you tell us about notes oh notes of the loser this notes is so of the boring. nobody uh let's right, yeah, yeah, let, yeah it's I, fine, i'll look to you Good luck, hey, this is so Musa. long it's so boring Hi, Hi, darling. Calling. how's it Musa? how are you i'm good Tommy. how are you doing i get in crowd <laughs> Nababo Pauling don't turn my I'm getting too mad. Okay, I have two questions, now, but I think one of them you already answered it. Like, like I wanted to know, or like how, 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 like how solid is your source? Like how, you know, like where do you get that information? Like, is it is it real or is it fabricated? Like, I wanted to to find that from you. The horse's mouth, Jorge. like this info, brah, that you get. Like, is it, is it, is it real or it's just purely gossip, like you are saying, you know? And again, Musa, like these people that are threatening you, like left, right, center. How come none of them has like about like you? It's like you're non-existent. Like they're threatening you, left, right, center, but. Ahona more dealing somewhere saying, okay, Musa has been, you know, to court or has been served. Like, like why? Why is that? Well, darling, I can I can answer you on that. Well, my story is if you if you look at my at my timeline, I try to give you guys as much evidence as, as possible as far as stories go. But uh, you will see that most of the things I say, it is backed up. It is backed up from information from your close friends. I bring all of that to you guys because somebody is talking and it is so great for me that, well, there, is, there hasn't been a platform like I got where people can say whatever they need to say and somebody is going to listen and try and get to the fact as much as I can and of which I do that. You guys, see, you always see my evidence. It, it is always backed up, whether it's speculation, whether it is not. But when it comes to the whole, excuse me, the whole serving, the whole, that doesn't bother me because I know exactly what I'm saying and I know exactly where I stand. And and yeah, so we'll wait 